My name is Sherry Gertis, and I have been a member at St. John's since about 1950. We came to Sacramento when my father was transferred here. My father, he said, why don't we try the church downtown named St. John's? And we did, and immediately we all three felt that this was the church for us. My father and mother became members of the Mr. and Mrs. Club and uh, met lifelong friends there. St. John started a young adult club. It started in 19, in the fall of 1954. St. John's must have done a good job of advertising because that first meeting, there were many uh, young men in attendance from McClellan Air Force Base. And I remember spending a lot of time talking with one young man named Bill Gertis. I just thought he looked like a pretty nice guy and um, was interesting to talk to. And when he came to pick me up the first time, my mother told the other turned her and said, that's a really nice guy. About six months later, Bill's uh, four-year enlistment in the Air Force was up, and he left Sacramento for Long Island, New York, where he had a job waiting for him. And he requested to be assigned to a air base as close to Sacramento as possible and was assigned to Travis Air Force Base. We were soon engaged and Pastor Romice officiated at our wedding. 1982 was the year of my parents' 50th anniversary and our 25th anniversary. We decided to have a joint celebration and Pastor Romice was there to assist us in renewing our vows. Our joint anniversary party was held at Casa de los Niños. We had a band, and we danced, and we ate, and we had a wonderful time. We've seen many changes in St. John's over the years. We asked Pastor Scott if we might purchase one of the lighting fixtures, and he said yes, and so we selected one of the double lights that hung in the narthex. Both Bill and I worked with the group that helps to put together the spokesman for mailing, and I treasure the friendships I've made there. Bill and I always felt that our meeting and the forming of our family was part of God's plan for us. Most of the important events of our lives have involved St. John. Our daughter was baptized and confirmed here, and I am happy to be a part of this community of people who are caring and loving and serving.